Welcome to this quick product demo to show you the highlights of Kanban Zone. Let's start with the navigation. We kept everything simple here. You've got a global nav with your major elements to get around. And then everything in Kanban Zone is a zone. And the local navigation right below the global is where you'll find everything related to that zone. So let's dive into this navigation. Um, we're on the Kanban zone right now, and this is the most common zone where you would visualize your work on Kanban cards. The next one is list. This is where you would see the same cards, but in a list view where once you select a few cards, you will see these bulk actions becoming available for you to make changes um, on multiple cards at once so that you can organize your work and, and update your information quickly. The next one is the summary zone. So this is a very interesting zone where you can actually um, see multiple boards. So this is one where you can actually start seeing multiple boards. You can select more than one. And from here, you will see all your cards grouped in our five column states, which are backlog, to do, buffer, in progress, done, and our extra state called none. So this is a great way to see multiple boards in one. The next one is our table zone. So this is where you can analyze your data, play with your data, view it the way you wanted, um, create pivot table. It's like Excel sheet in Kanban zone. And you can access the GAN view and you can even create charts from here. I mean, there's so many options here to help you analyze your data. This one is the calendar zone. So this is a way to see any due dates related to either a card or a task in a calendar view, which you can see on a month, week, or day view. And this is just a quick way to never miss anything that's going on in Kanban zone based on due dates. So cards and tasks that have due dates. And the first zone here is my zone. So this one is a little bit different. It's more like a dashboard where you can see everything that relates only to you. So in this case, I have five cards that I own, three tasks that I own, right? So I can see all my stuff quickly. I can organize it um, by different ways. And this one is very powerful. It's the ability to, when you watch columns, to see any card that is um, entering or in a column that you're watching right now. The whole purpose of my zone is to find things that are interesting to you and put them in your focus. So for example, if you wanted to put this in your focus, you just click this and suddenly you have this focus area where every time you want to make sure you're working on the right work, you can look at my zone and make sure that you are working on the right next piece of work. So very powerful and all focused on your work so that you are always on top of what you're supposed to be working on. So before we go any further, let's talk about the structure of Kanban Zone. This will help us discover the rest of our features. So from a structure perspective, it starts with setting up an organization. An organization can be anything, um, whether it's a company or a team or a single individual, you must have an organization. Within an organization are boards. This is where you can track your um, different processes like product development, customer support, or whatever team you have in your organization. Anything you want to visualize is done using a board. These boards have cards, and this is where everything happens. Any piece of work that you want to track is on a card, a Kanban card, which is what Kanban is all about. And these cards can have tasks. So tasks are just a way to break down your cards into actionable, actionable items. So let's look at a card on this board. We're going to open this one. It's got a lot of information. First of all, every card has a unique ID. Then they can be associated with labels. They have a title. You can perform actions like move, copy, mirror, which is very advanced. We have a whole video on this one. Same thing with saving cards as template to save you time and reuse them. The ability to archive and delete cards. You can set a single owner on a card. You can have multiple watchers. In this case, the card is already blocked to show you what it looks like. So you can block or unblock a card. You can estimate your cards using t-shirt sizes or priorities. And lastly, you can add cards to my focus under my zone. We track dates that you can set for yourself for as a start and end date for the card. We will track for you your actual start and end date based on the columns of your board. We have a full 
rich text editor for managing your description. And below this is where you can perform um, more interactions on your card. The first one is creating tasks. And one thing I want to tell you is that you can have multiple checklists on a task. So this is just an example of how you would add a checklist. You have multiple and you can check them off and set dates at the task level, which can be different than the dates at the card level, right? So that you can break down your work in more detail. So tasks are very powerful. It's like creating many project plans at the card level. Comments, rich text on comments with the ability to create threads of discussion so that you can track multiple topics on a single card. Attachments from various sources and different ways to uh, add them. Links, where this is where you can link to a card within Kanban Zone or externally to any other uh, system so that you can still create links with outside system. Every card that is linked must set a certain relationship. We have the vertical one with parent child, and we have the horizontal one with predecessor successor, which is to track your dependencies. So every time you create a link, you would set a relationship and this will connect your cards, but also create connections between your boards. And this is how you start building a full portfolio Kanban system. We have another video on that one. A full history with audit log so that you know exactly what happened on your cards. And lastly, some metrics here. It's blank just because I'm on a demo, but each time a card moves between one of these column states, the time is tracked and you will be able to leverage this in the metrics. So let's look at metrics. This is very important in setting up a Kanban system to make sure you measure and manage your flow of work. The way we do it is we have a metrics menu. It shows you just a high level view of all your key metrics. So the first one is your allocation. This is just a way to represent based on your colorful card labels, where you're spending your time on your board. The next one is your cycle time, which is how long does it take for a card to clear your board? So this is also the way to calculate your responsiveness. In this case, your team is delivering card in average in 8.1 days, which means just over a week. The next one is flow. So flow has the ability to map all your cards in those column states that we've shown you on the summary zone. And this is very um, powerful because you will be able to see where you might have flow issues. And when you click on this, you'll be able to also generate a full cumulative full diagram to actually pinpoint uh, what's going on with your flow. The next one is your arrival rate. So this is how much work you receive. In this case, every month it seems, or this month, it seems that this team has received 63 new cards. And the other one is your throughput, which is to tell you how many cards you're actually completing every month. So this is the ability to show the performance of your team. So this team is able to deliver 42 cards a month or in average 10 cards per week. So to complete this demo, I switched boards and I'm now on a pretty big board that has a lot of data. And the reason I did that is so that I could show you metrics. So here you see a lot of information for the metrics. You can click on any of these to go to the actual report and generate it. And from there, even see even more data about all the information you're seeing here. So our metrics are very, very solid. And there's a lot of information that you can gather from here. The rest of the app will give you the ability to see your filters, the ability to select options on how you want to see your data in each zone. Each zone has its own options. Settings where you can set information about, um, you know, your rules for blockings, your whip limits, um, your aging rules, your color labels that I was talking to you earlier. So a lot of settings that you can set. Your alerts so that you stay um, aware of what's going on in the app. A search our help where you can learn more information, contact us, give us feedback, etc., and your account information where you can go into your organization. And this is more uh, settings at the organization level where you can manage both your organizational information and your personal information. And lastly, um, adding a card, you just click here and this is how you add a new card to any board in your organization. So we sure hope you've enjoyed this demo. There's so much more to show you, but this is what we wanted to do in a short demo. So what's next? Starting your free trial and 
feel free to contact us. We are happy to schedule a demo, to put you in contact with one of our Kanban experts. We're here to help and to guide you on your journey of continuous improvement. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.